Hello guys and welcome back to another lecture. Now that we have tested our build project and verified that everything is working, let's clean up our environment. To clean up our environment, the first thing we are going to do is destroy the resources we created with Terraform. To destroy the resources we created with Terraform, we are not going to manually delete them in the management console. We will also use code build to destroy the resources we created with Terraform. To do that, let's go back to Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, select the ApplyTerraform.sh file. Once you've selected it, the next thing I want you to do is comment out your Terraform Apply on line 13. Comment it out. To comment it out, press Ctrl and forward slash on your keyboard. Or another thing you can do is add the hashtag sign in the beginning and it is going to comment it out. Once you have commented it out, on line 16 where we have Terraform Destroy, Auto Approve, I want you to remove the comment. To remove the comment, put your mouse here and press Ctrl forward slash. That is going to remove the comment or you can remove the hashtag sign. So make sure it looks like this. When we make the changes and commit the changes into our GitHub repository, that is going to automatically start our build job. And our build job is going to run everything again. But this time, instead of running Terraform Apply, it will run Terraform Destroy. So what I want you to do is save your file. Once you save your file, we are going to commit it to our GitHub repository and type a message. Once you type a message, click commit, then click sync changes. Now that we have committed the changes into our GitHub repository, let's go back to code build. In code build, select build project. And here you can see our launch EC2 instance build is in progress. So when we pushed our changes into the GitHub repository, that has triggered the build. If we select launch EC2 instance build, you can see now the build is on number two. If you select the build name here, and if you select the phase details, you can see that the build has been submitted and it is currently in the queue. I'm going to click refresh up here to see if there's any changes. And there you go. The build has moved from the queue to provisioning. So now it is provisioning the container that it will use to create our build job. I'm going to go back to the build logs so I can see the logs. We'll give it some time to create the container. And once it has created the container, we will see the logs. And there you go, we can see the build logs. It is going through the step in our build spec.yaml file. Here it has installed Python. If I scroll down, it has run the chmod command to make the shell script file executable. It is installing Terraform here. If you scroll down, you can see the outputs here. Here it has configured the name profile. You can see the outputs here. And here it is applying Terraform. I'll scroll down. And you can see all the outputs here. If you continue to scroll down. It is now destroying my resources. You can see it here. We'll wait for Terraform to finish destroying all the resources. And there you go. Terraform has finished deleting all the resources and the build is successful. So if we scroll back up, under status, you will see that the build is succeeded. So now if I try to go to my website, I shouldn't be able to access it because we just delete the EC2 instance we hosted the website on. There you go. I can access my website. It will continue to spin. Then eventually it will time out. So that's good. The next thing we need to do is go into the management console to see whether we have this EC2 instance in there. So if I click refresh in here, and as you can see, the EC2 instance has also been terminated. This is because in the second build job, we ran the terraform destroy command. Let's go to code build. I'm going to select build project here. And here you will see all your build project. If you leave this project in code build, it won't cost you any money. 
But if you want to delete it, just select it here and click delete build project. Then type delete in here and click delete. This is how you delete your build project and clean up your environment. This is how you create a build project in code build to automatically apply your Terraform project. You can also use this build project to apply any Terraform script. If you have any question on this project or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.